Okay, I'm gonna give a demo here on how to do surface design in a pinch pot. I've let this thing um, uh, set up for a little while. Actually, I'll just show you this. In the meantime, while it was setting up, I threw some uh, bunch of mugs here, and then I threw some square, ooh, can you see that even? Square mugs, and a larger bowl, and then four smaller bowls. So I've been industrious, and I'm gonna hand my camera, camera off now to uh, Michael, and we'll do this demo. So here's the pinch pot. It is now uh, almost leather hard. It's, uh, it's set up now. It's not so gelatinous. It's, it um, you know, can hold its shape better. Um, so somewhere between wet and leather hard. Leather hard is like cheese hard. And so now I'm gonna do three different surface designs to the bowls. You should have three bowls. I'm gonna do, just because, just for demo purposes, I'll do all three in this one bowl, just to have a surface to do it on. But what I'd like you to do is dedicate each bowl to one surface design technique. So um, the first one is adding clay. Now adding clay, if you remember when I put this when I put this foot on here, that was adding clay. I put a coil on, and it was wet clay on wet clay. So all I had to do was work it in, right? I could work if it's wet clay on wet clay, you can just work it in and use the tongue depressor tool, whatever, um, or your finger and work it in. If this was set up leather hard like it is now, and this was wet clay, I put a coil on, I'd score and slip. I'd rough the clay up with my needle tool, like really rough it up, put water on it so it becomes like a paste, then stick it on. So anyway, so the first surface design technique will be adding. So on one of your pots, I'd like you to add clay. And the reason why it's best to put it on wet clay on wet clay is so you don't have to score and slip. You can let it set up if you'd rather let it set up, but it's gonna take and you're gonna have to um, score and slip each piece on. So anyway, let me show you different things. You could go very, very stylistic. So I'm making a few balls of clay here. Maybe I'll make a little coil too. So I'll add a ball of clay on here and just, just work it in because wet clay on wet clay. So I could do that and I could do it around the whole pot. I could add uh, I could add a little coil. You can add anything you want. You can make little buildings and add it on. You can make a, little crystal things. Um, all you need to do is work part of it on. So I could just work on, I could just smooth in one part of this coil, work it in so you can't even notice that this side's been worked in. Okay. So you get an idea, that's adding clay. You're adding clay onto the outside of this. Um, you might want to think about, I might even put up a, we'll see, I, I might put a, a, a presentation up, a quick PowerPoint about visual rhythm, about just think of things repeating, and then they get further apart and closer together, so there's a rhythm to it. So you can think about that when you're putting the design on. You could really you know, play with rhythm on it. Um, more later on that. So anyway, that's adding clay. Now, subtracting clay is carving. And you can use anything that takes clay away. By the way, a lot of people will take their needle tool. Um, I have one around here. Uh, hold that front there, right here. A lot of people will take their needle tool and then scratch into the side of the pot like that. That's not carving, that's scratching. So I'm not just gonna draw, I'm just gonna not draw into it. I'm actually gonna take clay away. You've got two, uh, three tools, well, one, two, three, that can remove clay. And you can you go flat on this, flat on this side right here, like flat. You can go, you can use the corner and get a, a finer cut like that. Um, this one's round. I'm just showing you the various cuts you can do with, with your tool. You can use the, either side of this one to take clay away. Let me, let me support it and get in there. It's almost like coring an apple or something like that. You can be very, you can do like a wood cut and do very cr quick, rough and dirty things like that. And make, you know, or you can be very, very, very stylistic and just make very clean cuts all the way around. The whole idea is though, is that you're carving, you're removing clay, okay? Again, you've got visual rhythm to work with. Um, 
And anything removes clay, you can make a uh, you can make your own tool out of a paper clip and a plier, and just make a, a different kinds of uh, you know a different kind of loop for for removing clay. Um, but anyway, so adding clay, carving clay. Now the third technique um, is called scraffito. Basically, I'm scraffito. Oh, by the way, on on the wet the uh, the adding clay is best wet on wet. The carving is best on leather hard clay because it your carving will maintain its shape. If you do carving on wet clay, it gets really mushy and muggly and, bleh, and you get your fingerprints in it and it doesn't look good at all. So if you wanna get your cleanest carving is gonna be is if your clay is set up and then it like cheese hard and then your carving will be really nice and crisp, okay? And you want it nice and crisp, okay? So carving, wet clay for adding, leather hard for carving and scraffito best is leather hard. What you do is you take your leather hard piece and you can put it out in the sun for a little bit, just don't let it dry it all the way. Leather hard again, is it's still a little bit pliable. You get some colored clay. Now we actually have, the two clays that we use at the studio is B-Mix, which is a white clay, and Speckled Buff, which is a darker clay. Now you could put, you could make your bowl out of either one and then use the other clay and make a mush out of it. Like I have here, there's Speckled Buff right here, and, I, and I've made a mush out of it. And that's clay slit, it's colored slit. So I'll paint it on, or you can bring it to the studio on one of the face-to-face -face days. We have a whole bunch of colored slips. We've got orange, we've got yellow, we've got green, blue, red, black, white. And um, so you put a slip on, as you can see, it's shiny right here. What I'll probably do is put it out in sunlight and let, until the shine goes away. It probably takes about 10 minutes, it won't take long. And so you can, I can touch it without getting a fingerprint. But it won't be bone dry, it'll just be the shine will go away. Um, that way you, won't, you want it to shine to go away so it doesn't, again, you don't get fingerprints in it and you're carving. Which I'm, what I'm gonna do is carve through it now to expose the color underneath, the color of the clay underneath the slip. Okay, and this one you can carve. I will allow you to scratch a design in here. I can scratch a design in here, as you can see, the, the clay underneath, the color of the clay underneath is being is, is exposed. I can use my trimming tools and carve through here. Okay, that's graffito. You, at a leather hard stage, you paint on slip, colored slip, and you carve through, exposing the color of the original clay body underneath. That's graffito. You could actually put on different layers of slip, let one set up, put a different color on, let that set up, and you can start carving through different layers and expose different layers of clay to come with really cool. So you can really play with this technique. That's graffito. And so, that again, that would be done on leather hard clay. And you paint slip on, let it get leather hard, or the shine goes away, and then you carve through it. Um, so, one technique per bowl. Adding on one bowl, carving or subtracting on another bowl, graffito on the third bowl. And you can make more if you want. If this is really fun for you, make more. Okay? Thanks much.